Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share my thoughts on the latest trailer for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. First off, I have to say that I'm a huge fan of the Mission Impossible franchise and I have been eagerly awaiting the release of this next installment. And I have to say, the trailer did not disappoint. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So right out again, I just love the cinematography, the establishing shots. We haven't done anything yet, but I just love the flying camera, flying over the city, flying over the horses in the desert, just everything. The purple tint on the building, just nice, nice little touch. Your days of fighting for the so-called greater good are over. This is our chance to control the truth. So maybe you can help me out in the comments below, but when I look at this, it makes me feel like it's something dealing with how we have Elon Musk buying Twitter and the rumors is that he wants to have all the data to help make the metaverse. So he's trying to tap into what people are thinking and doing. So, and again, it may not have nothing to do with anything. So <laughs> who knows? Concepts of right and wrong from everyone for centuries to come. And as we can see, just like all the other Mission Impossibles, this one is going to be one of those on the edge of your seat type movies because it's already super intense, just the driving scene alone. You're fighting to save an ideal that doesn't exist. I think that desert scene is going to be my favorite scene. I uh, love that sniper shot. So I'm going to run that back one more time. You're fighting to save an ideal that doesn't exist. Never did. So this actor right here, this is Vanessa Kirby, and her character is called the White Widow. And I wonder if it has anything to do in relation to the actual terrorist that's dubbed the White Widow, which is Samantha Littleway. And if you look at the eyes, they kind of got like similar eyes. Okay, maybe that's just me seeing it like that. But yeah, that look right there, that's, that's a look you don't want to see. Like she's looking at a plan, it like she's looking at a plan going into action and she has that demented, psychotic, focused, determination look like it's all in one and she's just kind of looking at some destruction going down. So yeah. You need to pick a side. I just had to pause that. I love that shot right there. They're getting a lot of good desert shots with what they call the golden hour when the sun is setting and the sun is rising. That's like optimal filming time. And hoorah, got the Ospreys in the building. And yeah, not to confuse anyone, it is this year already. Uh, the movie should be released 14 July 2023. So just in case anybody is confused about that right there. <laughs> now that's an old school car with some new school technology because, yeah, he's controlling it with his phone. But that doesn't look like the type of car that works like that. He probably was thinking the nicer Ferrari next to him was the car that was going to back up. And that's probably why they're like, oh, shit. And I don't know why this car reminds me of the same car that Homer Simpson test drove in The Simpsons. But take a look. Maybe you'll see the same thing I see. She'll go 300 hectares on a single tank of kerosene. What country is this car from? It no longer exists. But take her for a test drive. And you'll agree. Zagreb Ebnem Zlotigdiev. Put it in H.
So Tom Cruise is a machine. A lot went into this little stunt right here. And I'm going to play a little clip for you just so you can see how much training and how many hours went into just doing this stunt alone, which is a magnificent stunt. So take a look. They were doing 30 jumps a day. Getting to a point where he was just a machine. I mean, over 500 skydives. That's what we do. Over 13,000 motocross jumps. Oh, it's going to be fun. Overall, I'm really impressed with the trailer for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Looks like it's going to be an exciting, intense, and emotional film, and I can't wait to see when it comes out. Let me know your thoughts on the trailer in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.